Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. This is the Riverwood World in Spark 43. Alright. We are going to be putting a floor down here. We're going to be clearing out trees and doing basic uh, preparation for the farm. And in the meantime, I've got a list of uh, stories I want to tell you guys about. You guys always tell me during the boring parts to tell stories and stuff, so I guess that's what I'm going to do. Um, I was considering doing this post-commentary. Uh, probably make more sense to do it that way, but anyhow. My story today will be um, one of my first PlayStation... Actually, it was my first PlayStation 1 game. Um, I decided to get a PlayStation 1 pretty late in the... Well, not late in this cycle. It might have been out a year or two by the time I decided to get one. You know, I knew about Resident Evil and like... Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, lag. Uh, I knew about Resident Evil and all the cool games and stuff on the PlayStation 1. And I kind of bit out of video games for a while, but I kind of wanted to get back into it. So, seriously, why is it doing that? I don't know. Anyway, um, I decided I was going to get back into uh, into video gaming. So, I'm like, well, okay, I'll go get the PlayStation 1. So I go to get the PlayStation 1, and, you know, back then I didn't have credit cards and stuff, I just had cash. And I was, I was going to have to, uh, you know, pay, pay for it in cash. And I only, had a, I only had enough money for the PlayStation 1, and then I, I think I had about 20 or $30 left over. Um, so I'm like, okay, uh, I'm looking at all the games, I'm like, great, Resident Evil, 50 bucks. Uh, you know, I can't really think of anything else that I wanted when the PlayStation 1 first came out off the top of my head. I know there was things, I just can't think of them right now. So I'm like, okay, I can't get that. So let me look around. For, they had a lot of cheap games. I think it was a EB Games or something. So they had a lot of a lot of cheap games. And I'm looking around, I'm reading the back of boxes. And I, I, I check out this the back of this one box for this game called XCOM UFO Defense. And, you know, it was a pretty cool looking box. It had like a... Uh, an alien on the cover and stuff, and I start reading the back, and it's like, it sounds very, uh, very strategic, you know, it was, it was all like, uh, it says something to the effect of, um, you know, uh, shoot down alien UFOs, um, research their technology and use it against them, some weird, weird thing like that, and I was like, you know what, man, that sounds pretty freaking cool, so I decided to get XCOM UFO Defense. Uh, it was twenty. Ooh, it was twenty bucks, and uh, you know I had just enough for it, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get this. XCOM UFO Defense is the best PlayStation One game I've ever owned, and uh, it, it's it was ridiculous how much I love that game. Absolutely ridiculous. I had such a good time, and I played that game straight for about a month. I don't think I got another PlayStation game for well over a month. Uh. So yeah, um, XCOM UFO Defense. I got is now here's here's what makes this this story interesting. Um, okay, so I got it. I played it for months on end, and I absolutely loved it. Now, a little while later, I don't know, a few months later, six months maybe, I I was in the same EB Games, and I noticed a little game called XCOM UF, UFO Defense Terror from the Deep. It was the sequel. And I just went gaga. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I gotta get it, I gotta get it. Just started going crazy. Well, guess what? It was for PC. Now, XCOM UFO Defense, little did I know, was a PC game ported to the to the PlayStation 1. So I'm like, well, you know, uh, this is awesome. I bought the game. It was in a bargain bin for like $7. And I bought it. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get a PC, and I'm going to play this game. And maybe six months later or something, I finally got a PC and I played Terror from the Deep and it wasn't that good. It was it was a carbon copy of XCOM except it was it was in the ocean instead of uh instead of on land. It was pretty lame. Uh you know, I mean it was okay but it just you know, it was the same thing. Uh, except it was in the ocean. The ocean isn't that cool. It isn't as cool. So that got me at my first PC. And, you know, that got me into PC gaming. So XCOM UFO Defense, which was really a, a PC game, you know, honestly, uh, got me into uh, got me into PC gaming. 
and you know I play console games but I don't I'm not really a, I wouldn't consider myself really a console gamer um, I'm really kind of a PC gamer every time I I get aggravated with something with the PC or maybe I think I'll go to console I can't do it PC is just better in every way so eh, it's kind of funny how uh, XCOM UFO Defense may be into the gamer I am today If anyone cares, uh, XCOM Yo for Defense is on Steam, because like five bucks works perfectly with Steam. Uh, it runs on any computer. You know, I want to look into it. I'm trying to do a Let's Play for it, but um, I I'm having trouble recording it. Um, it runs in DOS. Uh, there's a thing called DOS Box, which basically uh, helps those older games run on your your newer machines, or else, you know, I'd have to like go through all these headaches to get it to work at all, and it probably wouldn't. But uh, DOSBox has its own uh, recording software, but um, I, one second. But I can't get it to work. Uh, I did all the fixes people say to do that they say works for them. Doesn't work for me. So, boy, I would really love to do a Let's Play for that game. See, so, yeah, what I did was uh, I wrote down a list of uh, a list of things to talk about during boring parts of the game. And uh, that was one I really want to talk about. XCOM UFO Defense. Loved it. God, I played that game for months. Just solid. Eight hours a day. Just going nuts. It's crazy. What a good game. You basically, uh, basically, UFOs are, are, are like, land, are, are, have been spotted all across the country. And, you know, basically, uh, aliens have, are real, you know. And we have contact with them and stuff, and they say they're peaceful and everything, but uh, strange things starts happening, like um, like abductions and, and just all kinds of weird stuff. Uh, shenanigans. There's some shenanigans going on. And you're kind of, uh, you're kind of, you're kind of sent to, uh, you, actually they make this, they like form this, uh, uh, this strike team called XCOM. And you gotta kind of find out what's going on. Basically, you just spend all your time shooting down UFOs, stealing their technology, and using it against them. Like when you first start out, you have like rifles and stuff, and they barely do any damage. You're just getting your ass handed to you. You know, it's a, uh, it's kind of rough. And uh, you know, you, you uh, the first one of the first things you want to do is you want to uh, uh, get uh, get laser laser uh, weapons. And basically, you gotta you gotta down a UFO. You could send a uh, 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 interceptors out to shoot them down or you can wait for them to land uh, you basically spot them you, you, you make your own bases and stuff it's so cool you make like bases and you have like radar uh, radar detector things that like will spot the alien ships and uh, you know track them for you and stuff usually what I do if you shoot down an alien ship you lose a lot of the resources you get from it like basically basically what you would do is you would shoot it down and then you would you would, uh, you would, like, land by the wreckage, kill whatever aliens are left there, or capture, and, uh, and kind of mm -hmm. just take whatever you want. Uh, basically, you, you'll come back with, uh, alien artifacts. And the reason they're called alien artifacts is because you don't know what, the, you don't know what they are or what they're used for. You could take the alien artifacts and have your scientists, you have scientists you can hire at your base, and... You take the alien artifacts and you give them to the scientists and let them study them. And after a certain amount of time, they'll find out what they do and then you can use them. Like, say you get an alien artifact and it turns out to be like a laser pistol. Uh, you give it to your uh, your your scientists. They would study it. After a certain amount of time, they would find out how to use it. And then you would be able to use the alien pistols. You can't use them unless you, unless you uh, research them first. You can also start producing them once you research them, which is pretty cool. Um, although you really don't need to do too many things, because because uh, you know you can get them off the aliens' bodies, because you're constantly shooting down alien alien UFOs or waiting for them to land, which again is what I like to do. They have this. Uh, you could eventually like make your own uh, make your own aircrafts, which were like faster and and do more damage and just much better. Than the uh, the aircrafts you start off with, and it's funny because like, you have these like alien terrorist sites 
where like um, aliens are just have landed and are terrorizing the people, and you got to go, you got to go fight them. And if you don't like, you, there's like a point structure system, uh, and you basically have um, uh, like a budget that ever, all the countries give to you, like monthly monthly budget. And if you don't like, if you don't like uh, go de defend alien terrorist sites, then you lose a lot of points, like a lot of points. And people will stop funding you, and then once once a few people stop funding you, kind of like lose the game. Such a good game. God, I want to play it so bad. I just it's it's kind of a an involved game. I would have to put a lot of time into it, and if I did, it would be hard, you know, because I'm trying to make videos and stuff. So plus, I I really want to just you know. I really want to just uh, record it for you guys because it's cool. Everyone should check it out. I think in in America it's called uh, XCOM UFO Defense, and in Europe it's called XCOM Terror from the, uh, Enemy Unknown. I might have that backwards, but I don't think so. Oh, this looks, uh, oh, you know what? The roof might be a problem. I think about the roof. Be good now. Okay. Now I'm going to try and level out the ground a bit. I'm pretty sure this is exactly where I'm going to put the barn. Don't be shooting shit at me. I will tear your ass up. I'm not sure how I want to do this though. I guess I'll bring everything down to this level. If I if I got to do massive landscaping, I will be doing this off wraps. Uh, I know you guys want to see everything, but this is like you know, it's really rough to like record all this, especially when nothing's really happening. minutes left. I really don't want to launch into another story with only six minutes left. Make sure I have room. Yep. Oh, there's my house. Spider? You fucking scumbag. Here, let me see if I can get him to shoot the zombie. Alright, this is getting dangerous. I do not want to mess around any damn creepers. I need all the dirt. Probably going to be quite a bit of filling it in areas. Although it looks like I'm probably going to have to cut down more than I'm going to have to fill in. 
Oh, this all needs to be filled in. Whoops. Yeah, that's fine. Fill all this in. I hate it when there's arrows and things. What's up, cow? See why I need all that dirt? Thought I was kidding. Didn't you? Didn't you? Admit it. As soon as it becomes day. Um, see, this is tricky because I don't want to screw things up to where I can't work in the day. I mean, I really should just make a bed and bring it here. I really don't want to have to go back home now. Wow. That actually worked out pretty well. I have more dirt in my chest. I can't believe I'm out of dirt. And you know what I could do? I could put down some of the flooring here. I didn't see any dirt in there. That's going to be wood. those doors back on right now just in case you never know I don't feel truly truly safe unless I'm in here although I think I'm pretty safe out there now yeah I do have my dirt it's not enough though even probably start the barn right now. Oh, no I can't. <laughs> I have a picture of the barn that I keep up on my other computer, and I don't happen to have it up right now. I'll have it up for the next video. Right, burn bitches. This is stupid. I'm gonna run into creepers like this. I'm just gonna stay up here in the trees. <laughs> interesting way of doing things. No. Any other trees I can jump to? Whoopsie. Oh, you bitch. Stop pushing me, I swear to God. Alright, I'm gonna trap this cow. Oh no, I'm not. I don't have any freaking wheat with me. God damn it. Uh, let me see if I can get him in here. Oh, 
You gonna follow me, bud? Come on. No. There you go. Oh boy. No. Nah, just leave it like that for now. anywhere else you can get out. This out. Put that in. Put this in. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. We've caught our first cow. And that's my timer. All right, guys. So that's going to be a part... 43. I'll see you next time, part 44. Until then, take it easy.